What up, dudes? It's Gaz, and welcome back to the Warframe video. So, just got off the stream, uh, live reacting to DE's dev stream uh, for September. And unfortunately, if you watched the video from yesterday, we did not hit bingo, but we did actually have a pretty good prediction. I did get quite a few hits here. We'll be going over the dev stream overview for September. Uh, you know, it wasn't as exciting as I was hoping it was going to be. Uh, I actually did a poll for my chat while we were live and seeing how what people were uh, grading the dev stream at, and most people graded a three to four. So a very below average dev stream, you could even call it bad. But you know, me personally, uh, I'd probably go with more of like a five or a six. Uh, they had some cool stuff on there that we're gonna go over today. Uh, and also, you know, they, they, they confirmed that cross save is still in the cards, okay? I was kind of unsure about it. I was like, oh, they're gonna give us cross play only. No, cross save is going to be eventually here. Uh, so we'll be going over the stuff that went over today, and yeah, I appreciate all the support, guys. It's been crazy support lately on the channel. Um, I will be live for a really long live stream tomorrow, uh, playing Warframe and other games. So if you want to come stop by, be my guest. All right, so let's get started on what we got going today. We got a really, really cool Revenant Prime trailer. Uh, and yes, Revenant Prime is 100% confirmed now, guys, and we've actually got the stats for the weapons, too. Uh, Phantasma Prime and Tatsu Prime. Now, as far as the Phantasma Prime, it's getting a pretty substantial crit buff. We got the Phantasma Normal on the left and the Phantasma Prime on the right. Now, keep in mind, it says that there's an 11 magazine on the normal Phantasma and the Phantasma Prime has 15. The Phantasma and Phantasma Prime get increased magazine size when equipped on Revenant. They had the Revenant equipped in the video, so it's going to be the same magazine size, so don't worry about that. Um... So let's just go over these stats really briefly. We might even have a full video talking about this in the future. But the big thing here, uh, as far as stats that were buffed, the normal Phantasma has 3% crit chance. The Phantasma Prime has 11% crit chance. So they basically quadruple the, tr the crit chance, but it's not a big number in the first place. They're multiplying. So, uh, yeah, this means that if you're using Arcane Avenger, you're going to be at about like 50-ish percent crit chance. Uh, and you have a 1.9 crit multiplier on the Phantasma Prime when the normal Phantasma has a 1.5 multiplier. And the status chance has not been nerfed. Pretty much nothing else is different on this thing. Besides one thing I might think, I, I, or I, I personally think it's a bug. So if you look at the Phantasma Prime, its maximum ammo is 77 and it picks up 15 ammo per pickup. Then you look at the, the normal Phantasma, this is an unmodded build. 275 maximum ammo on the normal Phantasma versus, you know, 77 on the Phantasma Prime. Are they nerfing the ammo on the Phantasma Prime? I can't really tell. Um, we're going to have a video about the Phantasma and something they did to it recently that actually kind of annoys me. Uh, but we'll talk about that later. So basically just a crit upgrade. Uh, it might be worth running Prime Ravage on the Phantasma Prime, but I definitely wouldn't recommend modding for actual crit chance because the Phantasma is a... A complete monster right now and the little like not little the, the crit buff they're adding to it will make it a little bit better so i'm not going to really over invest into the crit build on the phantasma as the normal phantasma build works really really well already all right moving on to things that got buffed a lot more the tatsu prime the tatsu prime got some massive buffs as far as stats are concerned we got an attack speed buff we got a crit chance buff a crit damage buff a status chance buff and a base damage buff so Four of the most important stats, or rather, five of the most important stats are getting buffed. Now, the range didn't get buffed, um, but here's the big problem with the Tatsu Prime and two Anacondas in general. The Stance Wise Razor just feels terrible. It straight up does. It just it feels bad. Um, two Anacondas are heavy attack weapons for the most part, uh, and the way that heavy attacks work is that if you are in, like, gun mode... You have to, like, swing the sword or, like, you have to do a normal light attack melee to get your heavy attack melee out, if that makes any sense to you. Now, you can technically just, like, hold the equip button to switch to melee mode, but that's also, it's just, it's clunky feeling. We need a two-handed Nakana stance really badly, and they did not say anything about that today. So I'm kind of holding out for that to eventually happen. Um, it's pretty sorely needed, and they're, I mean, two-handed Nakanas are awesome-looking weapons, just held back by a bad stance, in my opinion. And I'm not alone in that opinion at all. A lot of people do not like that, two, uh, that wise razor stance. So maybe in the future we can get a, a new one there. But not anytime soon, for sure. All right, moving on. Uh, the stuff of Nightmares is here, guys. Echoes of Veilbreaker is an actual update that's going to be happening. We don't have a date on this one. Uh, but there's going to be some new dojo rooms. There's going to be a, uh, I guess it's a reworked boss fight that they want to add. They wanted to add these guys, basically. 
Uh, these will be new call boss fights. Yeah. So new boss fights for call. Um, and if you if you beat these guys, they're going to drop universal weapon skins. Or not universal weapon skins, but for example, the guy on the right, he's got a hammer skin. That after you beat him, you'll get a hammer skin for all hammers. I don't know what the person on the left, I don't know what kind of weapon that is. But um, yeah, hammer skin for sure. And new call mission... Call missions? So I... <laughs> it, it, now, here's the problem with the Echoes. The Echoes, Veilbreaker, all that meme stuff. We've had... This is going to be the third Echoes update this year. We had Echoes of War. I think it was like the first update of the year. Echoes of Zeramon. And now we'll have Echoes of Veilbreaker. Why can't we just release the update complete in the first place is how I feel. Like, this is the third Echoes update. And that when Daviri comes out, which we got no information on Daviri today, by the way. Once Daviri comes out, I guarantee there will be Echoes of Daviri like a month or two after that, too. So... Uh, yeah, that's just that's just Warframe going forward. Echo update release, echoes of update release two months later. You you can expect that from now from now on. So, but the Dormo Zone is still worthless. All right, moving on, we got Nabaris Knights new rewards. It's gonna be a new haunted interior decoration for your orbiter. You can get uh, for mother tokens from daughter, uh, and it they show what it looked like. It's basically just like infested gross stuff in your ship and some like pumpkins and jack-o'-lanterns and stuff, and also the jack o Knot statue, which is going to be a juggernaut with a pumpkin on its head. Now, I've actually been hoping that they'd bring this juggernaut with a pumpkin on its head back to the game for a while, uh, and it just, it kind of just like, was thrown to Daughter's store for no reason, so I'm wondering if maybe, maybe during Nabaris Nights, if you do a uh, Dymos Bounty, will it be a, a juggernaut pumpkin, like instead of a normal juggernaut that you attack? Like, I feel like the juggernaut pumpkin should be back in some degree. Uh, it's, I don't think that's too much to ask, really. Like, just give me the Juggernaut Pumpkin, D. I like the Juggernaut Pumpkin. Uh, so, so that's what you can expect there. Oh, one big thing about Nabaris. While we were, like, while they were showing us on stream, it made it look like Exodia Contagion and all those, like, Exodia, like, Plague Star Arcanes, they were not in the Nabaris store. So I don't know if that was a glitch or something. So, yeah, maybe you won't be able to get the Exodia Contagion from Nabaris this year, but... That has not been confirmed or denied yet. So, no one asked them. Maybe someone can ask them on Twitter or something. Moving on. Uh, so, that's something I actually really don't like at all. We've got the Archon Ephemera. Uh, the Archon Shard Ephemera. This is something that is not being added to the game yet. Um, they're thinking about adding it. And it's going to be basically you shove the shards into your frame. Kind of like... It just looks really bad, honestly. I'm assuming it will change uh, colors depending on which Archon Shards you're using. Um, but, yeah. I don't... No. It, at least it will make Necros more spiky, but I'm not a big fan of that. Moving on, they talked about the werewolf frame. We got some concept art. Straight up, like, this frame looks so cool. Like, I cannot wait for this frame to come out. They didn't give a release date or anything like that, but it's assumed to be the next frame. Um, really cool energy tail there. Like, these, like, werewolf, demon, wolf uh, mouths all over the place. I'm expecting this frame to be top tier. And I, honestly, like... Let me know how you guys feel in the comments. I feel like this werewolf frame is the most anticipated frame of all time. People have been asking for the werewolf frame for years. Years and years and years. Even when I started playing, people were on the werewolf frame. It's been asked for so much. Uh, and, you know, it's not It's not like a... It's it's not like the, the most, like, I must have it. But I'm actually extremely excited for it personally as well. I think they're going to make it really strong. And if they make it weak, that would be quite disappointing. They'll probably end up nerfing it though, right? Um, so, yeah, I... Let me know if you guys, has any other frame been more anticipated than Werewolf Frame? Uh, by the way, as speaking of Werewolf Frame, we will be uh, voting on what her name is in the future. The Design Council is going to make some submissions, and then once the Design Council is uh, given a couple name options, the community will be voting on what the name of the Werewolf Frame will be. Uh, some some people in chat were recommending Beowulf. That could be a kind of uh, awesome name for a Werewolf Frame. Or how about Beowulf? <laughs> Like Bay, uh, okay, sorry. Uh, moving on, we've got the Primer Surgeon's uh, return date information. Uh, it's returning on November 3rd. Oh, I, I mean, Primer Surgeon is currently here, but the rotation will happen on November 3rd. Uh, going from the current one, which is Wukong and Equinox, we'll be going to Valkyr and Saren on November 3rd. Um, and that's that's pretty much it. Uh, now, as far as other things, guys, uh, I don't have a picture for this, but Pablo did say they are thinking about adding self damage back to the game. Uh, because of AoE complainers. Now, I feel like that actually is not the worst idea in the world because I'm going to explain to you why they, th what their idea for self damage returning is. And the idea for self damage returning is to make it where it's health gated. So, for example, if I shoot myself in the foot with the Kuva Ogris and I have like a ridiculous build, like 
maximum corrosive damage. Like, man, this will kill any enemy that I shoot. It will not kill me, though, because these will be health-gated. So if I shot myself in the foot with the Ogres of the crazy build, I would not one-shot myself. Now, maybe Nightwatch Napalm would one-shot me eventually, uh, but yes, you will take 75% of your health if you shoot yourself with a rocket launcher in the foot. Up to 75%. So that would mean you would never one-shot yourself. That would also mean that Gloom would be completely crazy because you'd be taking damage, but you'd also be healing at the same time from that AoE shot. So I'm not sure how that's going to go. They said they're not guaranteeing it's going to come back, but it's one of the things they're thinking about. Um, also, they're going to be changing how ammo looks on the ground. The ammo system in this game, uh, as far as like what the, the drops look like, they have looked just like that for a long time. They're going to try to make the, the ammo on the ground look a lot more different. Um, so as far as like universal ammo drops, heavy ammo drops, which is a thing in this game, by the way, pistol ammo drops and rifle ammo drops, those are all going to look different and distinct from what they're saying. So uh, pretty cool stuff there. Now, as far as other things that they talk about in the dev stream, there really wasn't that much else, honestly. Uh, the self damage thing was a big thing that people were talking about. Um, and I personally wouldn't hate it if they did it the way they're talking about it. But I'm sure a lot of people absolutely despise self damage. Um, also, here's something though: if you're they've nerfed the ammo for for AOE like a lot. Sure, there's ways to get around it. You know, rifle scavenger in that video I made a couple days ago was really good. Uh, dispensary can give you more ammo too, or like maybe even just running ammo drum or ammo mutation. Those can all circumvent ammo changes. But so you're trying to tell me we're getting reduced ammo. And you're going to add self-damage? Like, I feel like you should have one or the other, personally. Um, like I said, like we're, I can bypass anything they're going to add to this game as far as, like, we have all these tools in this game of things we can do. We have so many tools. We can we can solve any problem DE throws at us. So it's not like it's going to, like, make AOE unusable. Seriously, it's not. It's just going to make it even more annoying. It's like, okay, now I can just, like, blow myself up, apparently. Um, so we'll have to see. Um, it's going to also make Revenant even more meta, where Revenant is going to not die from AOE like he did before. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful. Um, it really wasn't too crazy of a dev stream in my opinion. Um, you know, it was like, it was a good fun time. And uh, as far as cross play, they said that they, the video yesterday might have been super confusing. That was a surprise cross play test. There will be more surprise cross play tests in the future. They're not going to announce them though. Additionally, Cross save tests will start after cross play has been fully implemented. So, the, as far as I could tell from what they were talking about on the stream, it sounds like cross play will be here in full force before the end of the year. That's what it seemed like to me. Um, now, is that a little bit copium? Probably. Do I really want cross play really, really badly? Yeah, you bet. I bet you guys do too because. Uh, you know, it's gonna make it's gonna make getting squads for missions a lot easier. Uh, I think cross save is like twenty times more hype, though, of course, because as I said before, a lot of people feel like they're prisoners on the platform that they are currently on. So, for example, let's say you started your Warframe account on PlayStation Four like two years ago or whatever. I'm just picking random numbers. You started on PlayStation two years ago, but now you want to play on PC. I'm, you don't use your PS4 anymore. You're like, I don't, I don't play on console. Like it's, just, I, you know, I. I'm traveling too much. If I want to play Warframe, I'm going to play Warframe on my laptop. That's where cross save will be very, very, a, a very big deal because then you can, you don't have to re grind your account. You can take your PS4 account and move it over to PC. That's still in the works. Like I said, they did confirm it will be happening, but cross play is mostly going to be just to increase the player base for right now. I'm sure on Switch, it's not exactly bumping with the player base and all that. And also, it seems like cross platform trade will be a thing. Uh, so we're going to have to just wait for more details. Uh, DE does have an official uh, forum post. They'll be giving like updates on crossplay and all that. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that one as well. All right, guys. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, let me know how you feel about the werewolf frame. Like, do you think she's the most anticipated? I really do think she is. Uh, and not just because she looks cool. So, All right, guys. I'll see you next time. Appreciate all the support. And yeah, I'll see you on uh, stream tomorrow. Peace.